Hello guys, it's Michael here from Mixamango and welcome to this video. So a lot of people have been asking to see what happens when I do my next kills, so what I'm doing um, during the next kill, etc, etc. Uh, and so I thought I'd do a uh, nice little live commentary. So I'm here with my tank, uh, Toko Ads, he's a, he's a good friend of mine, he's a really good tank. And we're going to do some duos. So uh, normally we, I do duo with him quite a lot and we do some trios as well. And as you can probably tell, I am lagging quite a lot, uh, basically because of RS3. Whenever I actually play RuneScape and record at the same time, I just lag so much. I don't even know why. Uh, so we're going to go in and hopefully not going to fail too badly. Um, uh, and I'm really sorry if I do fail on some of the phases. It's not a complete real representation because I am lagging quite a lot. So uh, these are quite slow duos, obviously. Well, they're not that slow, to be fair. We get a lot of DPS. It's just the fact that uh, tanking, uh, we get more kills per invent. But uh, uh, when we have a tank, obviously, it's just less DPS. So I overload. And I normally always adrenaline pot on the first phase, just so I can get a, um, a bleed off. I'll show you that in a minute. So, yeah. And uh, quite a lot of people use... Oh, <laughs> he's already been dragged. Quite a lot of people use Anticipation at first, but I just wait for him to, to come up, and then I'll use Freedom. And wow, that is laggy. Wow, that is that is so laggy. I didn't even get time to use my Bleed, but yeah, that's cool. So yeah, that is really laggy. Um, that's going to make uh, Shadow Phase really hard. And also, as you can see here, I actually bought... Um, full death lotus and dual ascension crossbows uh, i've been saving money up for quite a long time to use those uh, buy those bad boys and they are absolutely insane it is such like zaros is just so easy and literally no one crashes just because they're such beast weaponry and uh, you get a lot of dps it means i can pretty much hit the whole of zaros as before when i was using um uh, just melee I couldn't hit the whole of Zaros. Oh yeah, see, I got my bleed off there. Because you see, if you use this bleed, uh, this ability here, Slaughter, um, you can actually get a bleed off, and when she moves, uh, you get it, the bleed increases, which is really awesome, because it really helps when she moves down. So yeah, and also I always change to a, uh, a crossbow switch for the minions, because they are weak to bolts, and it is just a bit slow if you um, if you use uh, if you use uh, Dragon Weaponry, even though they are level 90 gear, I know. Okay. Okay, so it's switched phase now. Should there is. Wait, did I just get a drop? No. Oh, I got clubs, I think. Nice. Okay, so now you can actually hit her until she says embrace this, and then then you have to move away. And I'm gonna go pick up those gloves. I think they're gloves. So I'm lagging so badly. Now gloves are the best ones. You should always pick up the ancient ceremonial stuff. So that's really awesome. Okay, and I'm not even praying. Nice, nice going. Okay, okay, let's go. Get the run on. I know many people, like Josh always tells me I run too far, but because of the lag, if I start to run closer, I know I'm just going to get stuck, and then she's going to start. She's either going to shadow me, or I'm going to get um get the bleeds, or whatever she does on me. Nice, that was a pretty fast phase. That's not even finished. Where are you going? Have I lagged? Did that phase not complete, or... Yeah, there you go. Uh, switch to my Drygor, my Ascensions. And Ascensions are really good. Like, they just own. I'm getting hit by that minion. Okay. Also, if um, if the person does lure it away, you can actually pray Mage on this guy, on this minion here. It is a lot, like, because he hits Mage, so you'll want to play Mage. Otherwise, you're going to hit constant. You're going to get hit, like, 500s. So that's cool. Okay, so this is going to be the real test whether I'm going to lag not too much. I hope I don't lag too much for this because this is the hardest phase if you lag. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I've berserked. Oh, nice little 5, 5k. Okay, that's what I always do, and then I run on this. Should be able to make it nice. You should always run when you're during, just because otherwise, um, otherwise, because when, when if you get sacrificed and then you actually just stay near it and it does actually sacrifice you, then obviously your health goes back up. So if you're not getting enough DPS and your tank isn't like, um, and your tank isn't uh, using like berserk or whatever as well, then it is actually quite a slow kill. So um, 
you have to run away from those uh, other minor blood, blood sacrifices, otherwise you just heal her up too much. Do, 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 do. To be fair, Nex is actually quite a uh, easy boss now in duos. It used to be a lot harder, I heard. Ah, contain this. No, no, no. Don't lag me. Nice. And I always use the Massacre at the start of this phase and the Shadow phase just because I just do. Just something that I always do and always have done. Okay, so yeah, he's got that. Uh, And really, you're just here. If you're the DPS, so you're just there to get as much DPS as you can. And I'm sorry if this isn't the most entertaining of commentaries. It's just I need to focus on the kill. Otherwise, I'm going to fail it, I know. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I've got my Death Lotus. Nice, okay. Is that someone PMing me? No. I always play with my game filter on for some reason. I don't even know why. It just gets spammed by like abilities or abilities not ready or stuff. But otherwise, I don't know. I just prefer it like that. Oh crap. Sorry. Saved. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, it doesn't matter. Sorry. I thought you were going to use ability there, so and it should always stay MD. I don't actually know why, like why no, like I do know why. So it's just she does less mage attacks, but and uh, MD means mage uh, melee distance. Sorry, I love this ability; it's so sick. Okay, yeah. So um, this is pretty much just an average next kill, and because she's praying soul split, I use my dual ascensions. Now I don't, I sh I'm not getting that much DPS, obviously, because I don't have pernix. I've got tank gear on. I'm still getting quite a lot, obviously, but it is just generally better than just using Drygles and then taking them off and then running away from the from the deflect melee. And it is really awesome. It is a, it's really fun just to switch up during the kills. <laughs> okay, so actually, I think I am actually able to live com um, RS3 stuff. It's not actually lagging too badly, which is actually really awesome. Um, I'm definitely going to do some more live comms. I'm going to try and actually solo uh, um, in Corp in just this gear. I know it's got 50% less damage. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Okay, that is something that I have done a couple of times. It's cool, though. I'll just use that. But, yeah, uh, it's really cool. Um, I'll just try solo Corp because, obviously, her mage hits just won't hit on my range armor, which is really awesome. And then at the end of the kill, which is now, I always put on my ring of wealth, run away, and we get bruised. Yeah, uh, <laughs> quite a common drop at next. I have to say, I've got a lot of bruised today. Uh, and yeah, so that's that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, that was me uh, live coming a uh, next duo uh, with a, a tank. He's good a tank, a good tank as well. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.